In this video, I'm going to show you my evening kitchen cleanup routine for which I like to light a candle to set the mood and also the candle is scented. Next, I feed my dog. She needs to stay down while I mix up her food in her bowl right in front of her nose, but look at how well she does it because that's our routine. And then she has to wait for me to tell her it's okay to eat her food. A little cat coming by visiting. And when she's done with her food, she gets a treat, a chew stick, and she has to sit for that and she goes. And I find really the biggest part of cleaning up the kitchen is just putting everything into the dishwasher and I'm always amazed at how clean the kitchen looks once I'm done with all of that. Earlier I had set out some cream that I am making into butter in my Vitamix blender. This is not as our usual amount of cream because we use the cream for something else. And so we only have a little bit, but it's so worth it to make really good butter. I had made a really nice bolognese sauce for dinner in my cast iron Dutch oven. And I like to save the leftovers for somebody's lunch tomorrow or a quick snack. So I put that in a mason jar. I'll find a lid for the mason jar and put it in the refrigerator for now. and I quickly check on my butter, but it's not quite done. So in the meantime, I will clean my cast iron Dutch oven with just a lot of hot water, scraping out the bits, and I have a good dish brush to do that, and sometimes I scrape it up with a plastic scraper, but this is enough. Drain the water, and put it on the stove, and I simply light the gas under the it to heat it up to make sure that there is no residual moisture that can turn into rust. My butter is looking good so far. As soon as the cast iron Dutch oven is hot and dry, I simply pour just a little bit of avocado oil into it. I have a piece of paper towel and rub all the inside and the rim with the paper towel and the avocado oil so there will be no rust, and then I just let it sit on the stove to cool down so I can handle it. Big pots, sometimes I wash by hand, even though that can take a little longer and take a little bit more water than putting it in the dishwasher. However, this one, I just wash by hand really quick. For the butter, I drain the whey from the butter making into a jar. Sometimes I use it for bread making or for baking. And then I rinse my butter with a lot of water to get out all the residual whey. That way is what makes your butter go rancid quicker. So I rinse it and sometimes I just let it sit for a little bit. I quickly clean up my cast iron lid and put that away. The night before we had made a roast duck and so I have all the duck bones that go into a stock pot and then I'm making duck broth. 
by putting all the bones in it. And I don't know if you can see it very well, but I had also had some pieces of onions and the carrot tops the ends and some garlic and all of that I throw in the stock pot with the bones because that makes a better tasting broth. And I add whatever I had in the roasting pan for the duck because that is very flavorful juices from the duck. A little bit of apple cider vinegar that helps with the flavor and draw out the minerals from the bones. And some peppercorns for taste. And then I add some water just to cover the bones. And I will set that over a very low heat over the stove and simmer that for a very long time to get my super nutritious, yummy bone broth. And here's another quick little tip for my tomato paste, a little hack. Oftentimes I don't use the whole can of tomato paste for my bolognese or whatever I'm using it for. So I take a piece of parchment and I put pieces of tomato paste, about a tablespoon or so on this parchment, parchment paper. And then I will put that on a plate and put it in the freezer. And when the tomato paste is frozen, I can put it in a Ziploc bag. And then when I have another recipe where I just need two tablespoons, I can just take two of these frozen blobs and put them into my recipe. So that way I'm not wasting anything and I don't need to use up a whole can of tomato paste for one recipe. The cast iron Dutch oven is cool enough for the touch so it goes back to where it hangs on the wall on a rack. Now for the butter, I use a small bowl. As I said, I don't have a lot of butter this time. And here you can see that it's just a very small amount, but hey, it's so worth it. And it only takes five minutes. And I have these two butter paddles that I use to squeeze out all the residual water and whey from the butter to make it super creamy. And I put the finished butter into a small bowl, clean the butter paddles of all the good butter. If you make your own, you don't waste any, and put that in the refrigerator. And I rinse my butter paddles from the butter and clean up all the other butter making items, my Vitamix blender and lid. the leftover whey in a mason jar. I will find a lid and put that in the refrigerator for now until I know what I'm gonna do with it. Next, I clean all my good kitchen knives. They're carbon knives, so I don't put them in the dishwasher. That tends to dull the plates anyways. Give them a good scrubbing and then I will dry them off and put them back 
into the drawer. When I made the bolognese, there was so much fat splattering that I really need to clean my stovetop. So I take the cast iron grates off and put them on my kitchen table. First I clean all the fat splatters and drips with a soapy sponge. It's a stainless steel stovetop, actually cleans up very nicely. And then I simply use 5% white vinegar on a microfiber cloth. That makes the stainless steel stove top really shiny and removes all the grease from it. And once that's done, I just simply put the cast iron grates back onto the stove. Off of my kettle gets some fat splatter, so while I have the microfiber cloth with the vinegar on it, I give my kettle a bit of a cleaning so it looks all nice and shiny. Now it's time to turn on the heat under the duck broth for simmering. Then I clean my cutting board by just wiping it off. And then I clean my countertops with a soapy sponge. Just very little soap. A little bit goes a long way. All behind the sink. And this is my main work surface that always gets a little dirty, so there's always a little bit more cleaning to do. And then I use my microfiber cloth to make it really nice and shiny. Very nice and clean then. Add some good duck fat that I also put in the refrigerator. And it's amazing, another piece of dish that goes in the dishwasher. And that cloth and my kitchen towel go to the laundry pile and I put out a new kitchen towel, fresh one. When the kitchen is all nice and clean, you want a clean towel as well. And then I rinse my sink. And that is my evening routine. I turn off the lights, blow out the candle, and say goodnight. <laughs>